This video is a demonstration of an exciting new feature for CloudRF called real-time propagation. Now this feature is quite different to all the uh, previous uh, add-ons we've put in the web interface and, and it's taken us a long time and for good reason you'll see why. Unlike previous uh, systems of modeling RF with a server where you generate an image on a server and then you overlay the image on a map. Uh, this time we're doing something quite different. It's, it's an interactive layer and it's taking advantage of a computer's GPU uh, graphics card in order to render that and uh, change it in real time. So let's go ahead and, and create a calculation using real-time propagation. I'm going to set my settings as normal and the only thing that's different here is I'm going to choose the color schema real-time propagation and click calculate. What the server's doing now is generating a path loss map and that path loss map initially will be invisible so when it completes um, there will be an interactive layer that I can change as I change the settings in the form here. So it's now completed, it's loaded, but there's nothing on the map. But I'm going to go ahead and switch to received power so I can see signal strength in DBM. And here we have a easily recognizable uh, heat map showing me signal strength. The only difference here is it's interactive. When I move my cursor over the map, you'll see I've got the DBM value next to it as a tooltip. The color key on the right here is different as well. Uh, not only can you uh, change the colors dynamically, so I can go ahead and uh, change the schema, it will update the layer, uh, but I can also change the colors. And it will update the colors on the map there. Now let's use this tool to good effect here, and instead of uh, burning through our credits, uh, generating dozens of calculations with lots of different settings which we've guessed, uh, let's, let's go ahead and use it uh, economically and look at this patchy area of coverage here and play with our settings and let's try and fill in that patchy area of coverage because we want to cover that with our repeater. So we'll go back to our transmitter uh, options here and let's increase the power for starters. So let's go up to 10 watts. Okay, we, we've covered quite a lot of the area there. Let's give some uh, more gain. So let's change the antenna. We'll swap out the antenna and we'll put in uh, maybe a 9 dBi antenna there. There you go. It's, it's covered in the area and you can go further. You can add in uh, receiver gain. So let's add in 5 dBi receiver gain. You get the idea. Um, some values you can work with after power floss has been created and some you cannot. Um, it's all to do with the way that uh, received power is derived from path loss. For example, you cannot change uh, the frequency or the radius now, but you can change uh, powers and gains. So uh, powers and gains that might go into your link budget, for example, swapping out cabling or antennas, yes, you can do that. Uh, changing the frequency would require you to repeat uh, the process from the start. And if you don't like the colors, well, just go ahead and change them. I'm going to go and uh, pick uh, violet here. And that is real-time propagation and that's available with a commercial plan.